2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Downtown Indianapolis moving at warp speed in this time-lapse footage. We're in the basketball hotbed of Indiana. The NBA on 2K Sports. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Indiana Pacers. Here at their home, Bankers Life Fieldhouse. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Demonis Sabonis. And hey guys, I think he's starting to feel the wear and tear of the season a little bit. That, that comes across in his rebounding numbers. They dropped off this month. He needs that second win, and no doubt he'll get it soon. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. And for Indiana, we've got Lavert. He's out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Sabonis in at the center position. And in these late season stages, Doris, there are always a few surprise players that step up their game. There's a real rhythm to the NBA calendar, Kevin. And this is why year-round conditioning and your year-round calendar matters. You know, the deeper you get into a year, there are certain players who get stronger because they've put in the time and the commitment in the offseason and they've stuck to their routine and their schedule during the year. All of those things matter. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Sabonis finds Brogdon. Knocks it loose. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Offensive rebound. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Boy, having a hard time making shots. Just one for four to start this game. Traps in the tray. Malcolm Brogdon has been rock solid since he won the Rookie of the Year award. This guy's capable as a scorer, and what a pretty pass there. Now here is Holiday. 20 points for him last game against Miami. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. A nice shot by Levert. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Here's Giannis. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Miami. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Don't you love watching Brooke Lopez get to that mid-range, stretch the floor with his shooting ability? Really good stuff. Three-pointer, Levert. Rebound, Milwaukee. Pass to Holiday. Oh, that's blocked. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. This guy is such a good all-around player. Karis LeVert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. On the wing, DiVincenzo. LeVert defending. Loads it up for Giannis. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley-oop lobs. Now, here's Levert. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Lakers. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. On the wing, Holiday. He's guarded by Brogdon. The kick out to Holiday. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Holiday's got five now. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Sumner passes to Levert. Shot clock at six. A shot by Brogdon wide open. Misses the three. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Even Chenzo passes to Giannis. Trying to get open as Lopez. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. You know, he had room to operate, but added a little fade on that shot just for good measure. Brogdon finds Lavert. Sabonis inside. Defended by DiVincenzo. 
And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. It's good. Six points for him. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Earlier, I spoke with the Pacers head coach. He said their main focus coming into this game was the Bucks' transition offense. He told me they get out and run every chance they get. And the one way we can stop them is to take care of the basketball. The fewer turnovers we give them, the fewer chances they'll have for a run out. So the emphasis for them tonight is on smart and safe basketball. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard for the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play these guys heads up. The Pacers in fifth. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way establishing the attitude you want. Bucks leading by four. Now here is Holiday, and he lays it straight in. Holiday's got seven. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Sabonis kicks to Brockton. They need this. Rebounded by the Bucks. Giannis has got four rebounds in this game. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. And the first one at the line is good. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. Both free throws good from Drew Holiday. Pacers trail by eight. Lavert with it. He has seven. Brogdon with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Brogdon looking it over. Zabonis trying to get open. And that one's good, Brogdon. Well, there's an innate feel to that shot clock getting under duress. Malcolm Brogdon's so confident in those situations. Now, here's DiVincenzo. An 11-point game for him in the win against Miami. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's Brissett. Back to Levert. Here's Sumner. A three-pointer, no good. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here's Levert. He's got seven. Passes it to Sumner for the three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got six rebounds now in the game. Good. And the Bucks lead by 15. 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA. You had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call. And, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, will say so Gary Payton. I got a, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school. And, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, you know, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scotty Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now, here's McConnell, guarded by Holiday. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. On the wing, a holiday. Inside, Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Well, so intelligent at recognizing where to roll to open space. DeMontis Sabonis, very crafty. Down low. Nice shot by Portis. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pacers trail by 15. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Holiday gets the bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Holiday gets the bucket. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Well, DeMontis Sabonis has a nose for the basketball. He understands if he keeps moving, he's going to get to the offensive glass. Now here is Holiday. He's covered by McConnell. And the call will be against Sabonis. That's his first foul. Pass to Forbes. Six on the shot clock. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Milwaukee shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. That's good from Forbes. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Down by 15. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. A game they definitely felt they could win, and with a break here or there, they probably could have. You know what? The stats certainly looked good, but the fact of the matter is they couldn't deliver in the clutch moments, and that's something you've got to figure out moving forward. Here is Forbes coming off a solid outing against Miami. Six to shoot. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And a guy like Justin Holiday, a, a great option off the bench. Consistent scoring threat with that second unit. That's exactly right. And Justin Holiday also provides you solid defense to go along with that shooting, Greg. And he's older now. There's a calmness to his presence while he's on the floor. He's been with a couple of teams. He's been around a little bit. So he's just got to maximize what he does best. Here's Tucker after the basket by Sabonis. Holiday finds Portis. 
Tucker with the ball. And here's Holiday. He's covered by McConnell. And it's Connaughton missing. And stolen by Portis. Here's Forbes. And it's off from three-point range. Pacers trail by 13. The pass to McConnell. Left side, Sabonis. Plays it up and banks it in. Sabonis has got eight. We are talking about 6'11", 240 pounds of nothing but big-time athlete. Domantas Sabonis doing work. Beyond the arc. That shot is off. So Indiana will take it the other way. A shot by McConnell, no good. Milwaukee leading by 11. Here's Holiday, right side, Portis. And again, the Bucks miss. Outside Holiday. Pass to McConnell. Shoots over Portis. And the call will be against Sabonis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Bucks lead by 11. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And recently on the subject of trash talking, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say. I like to stay lucky to the game and focus to the game and uh, let my, uh, you know, play and my energy and my effort do the target for me. Greg, as you always say, different guys intimidate in, in different ways. And when you have his level of length, athleticism and skill, you don't need to say a word. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. Guys, we've seen the Bucs really take control here early. The offense firing on all cylinders. They dominated that first period. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second, E.J. Tucker is out there with Bobby Portis. Then it's Holiday, and it's Connaughton in at the three, the small forward. For Milwaukee, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. First free throw is good. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a that's a very interesting uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things, never leave any stone unturned. Like, don't let things fester. When there are issues, you address them. Uh, and if you're not taking things personally, you tend to be able to work through whatever issues uh, you may come in front of. Good advice. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They went to Indiana for their last meeting with the Pacers and came out with a win. And the last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. Tucker, it's three corners off the mark. The Bucks they won their last contest that game against Miami. Now here's Lamb. He's guarded close. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. The shot by Holiday, no good. Pacers trail by 10. Over in the corner, Lamb. Fires from 14. That one goes in. Lamb's got five points now this quarter. This guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Forbes, the pass to Portis. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at five. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. 
here's McConnell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. On the wing, Holiday. From deep. A shot by McConnell. No good. Bucks leading by eight. It's stolen by Lamb. McConnell passes to Lamb. To the paint. That's good from McDermott on the assist from Jeremy Lamb. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Bray, good to see Jeremy Lamb back on the floor after his injury. He can still be a productive wing, you think, off the bench for this team. No doubt about it. More of a finisher for this team. Lamb shouldn't have any lingering effects of coming off that ACL. This game's diverse enough to get shots anywhere in the half court, and he'll continue to be a productive player for the foreseeable future. Pacers. Edmund Sumner comes in for Aaron Holiday. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for TJ McConnell. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Donna's on to Kumbo comes in for PJ Tucker. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Bryn Forbes. Now here's Brogdon. Following the miss by Giannis. It's stolen by to Kumbo. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And an incredible display of awareness there. Giannis, a great read on the defensive end and understands this team wants to run. Passes it to McDermott. And the rejection by Adekumbo. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of this game. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Indiana making a change here. LaVert's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Middleton trying to get open as Lopez. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got five now. And that was a big time finish. Middleton with the strength now to get hit and still complete the play. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Sumner passes to McDermott. Five on the clock. And here's Brockton from the off. Holiday with the block. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. Sabonis, he's checked in for Doug McDermott. Now here's Giannis. Eight points for him. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. And Brogdon, here we go. And it goes down two points. He's got ten. Well, what you love is Sabonis has both the athleticism and the strength to play through contact. Nice. And that log came from a mile away, and it was right on the money. Talk about a long-distance connection. Pass to Levert. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. 
Well, Karis LeVert giving you a glimpse into how high that vertical goes. That is nice. The wide open look here for Lopez. No good from outside. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. This one for three. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just five points in the basket from LeVert. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of those. Yes. And the Pacers call time here. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Giannis Antetokounmpo. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Now here's Lavert. He's got 12 and so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Him that shot next time they could get burned I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm and that set them apart today guys their success with the mid-range here's Levert after Drew Holiday score Levert finds a bonus and then against Holiday back to Sabonis oh good on the three and so on to Dekumba will bring it up for Milwaukee the biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And, you know, they played a terrific all-around game. The effort level was there as well as the production. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end. They were so efficient in almost every aspect. The Pacers have gone two for two in the game at the line. What's up? Justin Holliday's checked in for Indiana. That free throw good from Brogdon. It's really a little bit insane to think that back in 2016, Malcolm Brogdon was a second-round pick. This guy's a special shooter. He's incredibly efficient. He's already led the league in free throw percentage, and we know he takes pride on the defensive end. This guy is a real player in today's NBA. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. With some arc, goes back up, and it's laid in by Holiday. Holiday's got 17. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Now, here is Levert. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven-foot frame. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. Yeah. We throw no good for Giannis. 
And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. Shooting two. That free throw good from Brogdon. Both good from the line that time. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrated. And the dunk by Giannis. In the long strides of Anadokounmpo, once he gets downhill, there is almost no stopping. Now, here's Brogdon. He has seven. Now let's jump over to the 2K leaderboard to get an idea of which big men have been this season's most elite low post scoring threats. Second, Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's as scary a collection of big men as you'd want to see. I mean, game planning for any of them is a challenge because you know how much defensive attention you're going to have to devote to them. You know, and even with entire defenses schemed around stopping them, their scoring output always remains high. These fellas are anchors in the post for each of their teams. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Brogdon hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Giannis outside. Back to DiVincenzo. Kicks it down to Middleton. It goes out of bounds. That one off Levert. All right, a moment to see the stats for DeMontis Sabonis. Since the All-Star break, he has been superb. Averaging about 19 points, 13 rebounds, and 7 assists. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's He's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. Here's Brockett following the basket by Chris Middleton. And there's the pass to Brissett. Back to Brockton. And he bangs it home with one hand. Wow, Malcolm Brockton doing the dunk. That is nice. Here's DiVincenzo. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. The offensive rebound, and Giannis throws it down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Four on the clock. Sabonis kicks to Holiday. And the three off target. Bucks leading by nine. Here's Hansa Takumbo. And the dunk by Giannis. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the score. He's put this offense on his back. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Here's Giannis. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. The Bucks have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's McConnell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 143 left in the first half. Sabonis inside. Giannis is there. McConnell kicks to McDermott. Holiday with the three. Giannis grabs the miss. 
Giannis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And stolen by McConnell. One on nine left to play here in the half. Get there, get there. Just four to shoot. Sabonis, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, to me, the size of Sabonis creates problems for the defense. You cannot be careless in how you guard this guy. The Pacers have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, it's such a pleasure to watch DeMontis Sabonis play the game. Yes, he's got absolutely God-given talent, but he also has an incredible understanding and feel for the game, and he plays it the right way. And Sabonis drops them both. And it's Anson Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. And finished off by McDermott. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Boy, he really wanted that shot, trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that wide open. Middleton outside. Offline with his three. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. There's a bonus. Can't do it much better than that right before the clock expires. What a way to seize momentum. Can it carry over into the next quarter? Beautifully done. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. His performance that quarter has earned him a double-double. Seems like he's been everywhere in this game. Had a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin, here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pushing the ball and uh, get stops. We know that's Coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 30 points, six assists, and one steal. He was on the fringes in their last game. Tonight, he's been the centerpiece. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. As expected, the king has ruled the court. One of the smartest players ever. Can't throw anything at him he hadn't seen. But the defense just so does he. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Pacers. It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you can get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better into a better rhythm in the second half and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You look at Enda Dekumbo in this one. He's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. 
all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court right now for the Pacers. Sabonis is out there with McDermott. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Sumner in at the three. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And up to this point on the season, he's set a pace of right around 73% when he gets to the line. Free throw good. Sabonis. The Pacers making a change here. Brissett's checked in. And Sabonis drops them both. Bucks leading by eight. Here's Giannis. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Giannis has got 32 points. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Brogdon outside. Makes it off the glass. Brogdon's got 13. Well, a triple drive from Malcolm Brogdon is one of the key aspects to balance that pretty perimeter game. What a nice move. DiVincenzo passes to Holiday. Lock at six. Three-pointer. The rebound by Brogdon. Pacers trail by eight. Pass to Sumner. Lots of room. The shot, no good. To the middle. Here's Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the chart. Brogdon kicks to Sabonis. Over Lopez. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, and checking out the numbers for Andy Tacupo. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Averaging around 26 points per eight rebounds and four assists. Uh, he's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. No good on the free throw. No luck that time either. Milwaukee leading by 10. Now DiVincenzo. Misses from close range. Here's Sumner. Defended by Middleton. Sumner passes to Brissett. Looking now at the numbers for Middleton. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. Fourth in free throw percentage. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively and he's been deadly from the free throw line only a handful of players are shooting a better percentage phenomenal asset to have on your team and he makes the first Bobby Portis has checked in for Brooke Lopez And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Outside Holiday. Passes to Middleton. Second shot opportunity. Pacers with the rebound. Now here's Levert. He's got 16. Pass to Brogdon. He's feeling it. Sabonis. And staying with the play, Sabonis. Sabonis has got four points this quarter. Don't you just love watching DeMontis Sabonis get to his spots? This guy's so creative on the offensive end. The pass to Middleton. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Launches it. Sumner gets it to go. 
now just a three-point Milwaukee lead. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? That's got to be a little bit deflating to the defense, guys. Getting kicked when you're down. My goodness. On the wing, DiVincenzo. That's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Giannis is double. Sabonis with the steal. Up the floor. And stolen by DiVincenzo. And they're pushing it up. Rips down the breakaway slam. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Brogdon outside. Sabonis finds Brogdon. Milwaukee leading by seven. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Middleton is doubled. Again against Giannis. Outside Portis. Let's go. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. DiVincenzo's got eight points. Pacers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Here's Brogdon. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Portis. And the 22nd pick in 2015, Bobby Portis with a nice shooting touch. And at the same time, not afraid to mix it up. Maybe to a fault. At times we've seen him get caught in the heat of the moment. you got to channel that competitive edge and stay strong mentally. Timeout call the Pacers. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. McDermott's checked in for the Pacers. Justin Holiday comes in for Karis LeVert. It's Brogdon on the wing, guarded by Holiday. Holiday against DiVincenzo. There's a bonus. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Middleton dishes to Antetokounmpo, and Antetokounmpo slams it in. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more, you're right. Sabonis kicks to Sumner. Back to Sabonis. From outside, off the mark. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Here's Holiday after the made shot from Bobby Portis. Back to Sabonis. Not done against Holiday. Just five to shoot. It's so about it's a Kumbo. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Stolen by Middleton. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Giannis. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead 
continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And there's the whistle, illegal screen. The story from beyond the arc, here's who's leading in that category across the NBA. Third is Bobby Portis. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Jeremy Lambs check in for Edwin Sumner. Aaron Holiday comes in for Justin Holiday, and it's TJ McConnell in for Brockton. And then for Milwaukee, PJ Tucker, he's checked in for Portis. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for True Holiday. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance, the ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Shooting one. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 20 to 3 run. Forbes the pass to Lopez and the dunk by Lopez well one aspect that makes Lopez dangerous his size at seven foot he doesn't have to go far to slam it home Holiday no one around him good and McConnell gets the assist Holiday's got six their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half DiVincenzo gets the bucket. I'll tell you, you have got to have a short memory. You put a poor first half behind you, and you get to work here in the second. Now here's Lamb. Eight points for him. Inside. And McConnell gets it to go. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the outstanding passers from the post position that we have in today's game. If you're open, he'll find you. Lopez inside. Sabonis is there. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. And that one hits back iron. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. 19-point game. Pass to Sabonis. Good D by Lopez. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to DiVincenzo. And stolen by McConnell. Holiday inside the line. That shot off the mark. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Here's DiVincenzo. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, the Pacers pull it in. Sabonis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got 16. Connaughton passes to Forbes. Lopez up top, defended by Sabonis. Here's Connaughton, and it's good two points. And the Bucks lead by 19. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Four. A three-pointer is right on target. 
Forbes has got six. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Here's Holiday. Here's a bonus. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. This guy's a skilled interior scorer. There's height, there's great shot selection. Sabonis doing work right now. Holiday against DiVincenzo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Jeremy Lamb. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. The Pacers making a switch here. Brissett's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Middleton's checked in. So he gets them both. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Now here's McConnell. Defended by DiVincenzo. Off on the layup. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Pacers ball. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the third. The rim-rattling two-handed champ. This is a good scorer who's got size and athleticism. Karis LeVert is not going to struggle to throw it down. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Bucks ahead, running away with it. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Never felt my place in the crowd, so I stayed and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. They've got Brooke Lopez. E.J. Tucker is out there with Chris Middleton. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Connaughton in at the shooting guard position. Here's DiVincenzo. Brissett grabs the miss. Brissett's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's McConnell. Lopez with the block. Lopez needs to hold down the fort on defense. An incredible wingspan to get that one. Tucker with the ball. Shoots over McDermott. A nice shot by Tucker. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Pass to McConnell. Now Levert. Greg, you know, we're seeing players take control of their free agent destiny. Do players get a bad rap for that in switching teams? Listen, I think, I don't know if you get a bad rap, but you're going to catch the wrath of the fan base. You think of Paul George uh, in Indy or KD in OKC, and fans, they, they're going to feel jilted. There's no doubt about it. They're going to feel scorned. Yeah. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Pacers trail by 20. And Holiday kicks to Levert. The pass to Brissette. Lopez with the block. It's three on three on the fast break. Holiday against 
DiVincenzo. High arcing shot, and he lays it up and in. DiVincenzo's got 14 points here in the second half. Avert against Middleton. Holiday trying to free himself up, and it's Lavert missing. Now here's DiVincenzo. Tight defense on him. Lavert against Middleton. Pass to DiVincenzo. A three pointer off the mark. For Indiana, they've gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Here's Brissett. Rebounded by Tucker. Milwaukee leading by 22. Here's DiVincenzo. Passes it to Middleton. And here's Tucker. Back to Middleton. Clock at four. Levert grabs the miss. Levert's got rebound number five here tonight. It's tipped. Well, statistically not the most imposing shot blocker, but he gets every bit of that one, did Tucker. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half, and that's a great way to cut into the lead. Ray, compare the times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact and a lot was let go on the floor to what we're seeing now when there seem to be a lot of whistles, a lot of stoppage of play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You, you know, you got to allow players to defend. And if they're in a legal guarding position, let them do their job. Uh, you know, eliminate the cheap ones. Part of the issue, though, partner, is now so much of the game is played on an island, right? So yep. You don't have the crowds that you typically would see guys in back in our area. There's more space. The court, in essence, is bigger. Uh, you're out there kind of on your own, man, and these guys are crafty at drawing fouls. It's never been harder for a defender. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for Indiana. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Sabonis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Lopez. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position if there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody that would probably be it Two. the first one falls and a lot of talk Greg about in season tournaments in the NBA to spur fan interest the proposal was tabled for a bit um, what are your thoughts on that? You know, cash prizes for the players and coaching staffs. So that always seems like a good idea. I just wonder, Kevin, if they're going to be any cash prizes for the broadcasters. Because I now so. I think they're on to something. <laughs> we could get that, you know. And But in all seriousness, we, we see that in soccer, right? And it seems to work well. And, and I think if, the, if it can spur some more interest from fans, then I'd be all for it. Yeah, the fans love it watching soccer. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Levert finds a bonus. Now, here's Brogdon. The shot will not fall. Holiday with the defensive effort. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Here's Brogdon. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Well, that's the attitude Malcolm Brogdon hopes to bring every night. You can't be passive. He is going to attack on the interior. They get it again. Here's Portis. Here's Giannis. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket.
Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. From about 19 feet, again, Brogdon missing. The defense there got away with a major lapse. The shot by Holiday, no good. It's three on three on the fast break. Levert with the wide open look. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Sabonis with the block. Improving on the defensive end as well. DeMontis Sabonis getting tenacious there with the block shot. Here's Anta Takumbo, and the layup is good. Giannis has got 44. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Brogdon a good look, and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one fall. Well, you know that Malcolm Brogdon has a high level of confidence in his ability to make perimeter jump shots. Doesn't hesitate if the shot is there. And with a frequency of three-point shots skyrocketing, Greg, does the drastic change concern you? And should something be done to, to lessen the dependence these teams have on threes? It's crazy. I mean, we're starting to see teams take more threes than twos. Oh, you know, some have said maybe Too limit soft. fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts, but I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three is going to be vital. Both shots good from the strike. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Pass to Brogdon. Great D that time from Portis. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Brogdon outside. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Brogdon's got 19 points. You can see Malcolm Brogdon has the ability to score from all three levels. In the paint, from three, or right there going to the mid-range game. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Now the pass to Brogdon. Sabonis against Portis. Six to shoot. And Sumner gets it to go. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Brogdon against Holiday. And to Takumbo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists in the game. Pass to Levert. Back to Brogdon. And it's been said that history is written by the victor. Certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And with that in mind, do you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great players, individual players in history? You know, Kevin, I, I think so. Uh, having said that, I think championships do matter, obviously. And in the NBA, in basketball in general, one guy can have more impact, right? Because you only play five and you play both ways. So uh, it, it does have something to say, but I don't think that completes the narrative. You know, there's some tremendously talented guys. Carl Malone, Elgin Baylor, Patrick Ewing, Allen Iverson, a lot of greats who never won it. Uh, it. It's easy to count those rings, but measuring greatness has to take in the whole picture. Hall of Famers, all of them. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Levert against DiVincenzo. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Unloads from nine, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. 
dived in the pass to Levert. We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one and done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can, they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the growth of the G League, no doubt, is instrumental in that new system. Uh, now these young rookies can get the playing time in lower tier pro games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college, even for a year, uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. Agree? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. Brogdon outside. And no good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Milwaukee. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And their dominance continues, guys, as they sweep the season series four games to none. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Giannis. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. One shot. Free throw drops for DiVincenzo. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Lamb. Out left to the wing. They could use a bucket. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? No, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself and try to wait, wait for my time to push it. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.